So here we have a wonderful painting by an anonymous master from the 15th century. His name is Master of Khativa, known as Master of the Seven Sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary, because he painted a series of Venables in the Church of San Pedro in Khativa, which is near Valencia in Spain. And so this painting is uh, densely compact, a scene, of course, of the crucifixion. We sometimes say that this is uh, what they call the international Gothic style, with its uh, sort of very dense way of painting and very detailed uh, fabric representation. And what is wonderful here is that there are over 16 figures in this painting. If you count not only the actual figures, the good thieves, but even the angels and the very souls of these thieves. Because if you look on one side here, the, the, we have the, the good thief here who has his angel pulling out his own soul. And on the right side we have the bad thief where you see a demon pulling out a soul from this uh, bad uh, thief who were crucified with Jesus. And it really shows uh, you know, the, a moment of great anguish and he is suffering great pain. And this one, on the other hand, is more uh, serene. And uh, we have Joseph of Arimathea, we have uh, St. John, we have the other apostles here, uh, the other followers with Our Lady and the Holy Women. And uh, really what this shows is the two attitudes we can have to suffering. On the one hand, we can react with revulsion and anger and even blasphemy like the bad thief, or we can react with abandonment, confidence in God and end up serene. And in the end, our Lord gave probably the most beautiful words in the entire gospel to the good thief. He said, today you will be with me in paradise. What better words can you have than that? It's an example of abandonment, of, of confidence in God's uh, divine mercy, even in front of a misspent life like that of the good thief.